I am at Chi Chi Hatchling of Chi Jai in the Sierra Steel Tournament, and we'll be going over how to do these last four bosses. I highly recommend doing them in order of hardest to easiest, because the easy one in here, I've never had any issue getting down. The harder ones, well, you don't want to waste time killing the easy one, only to get stopped the hard one, having to restart the whole thing over again. So go from hardest to easiest. Chi Chi here has traditionally been the hardest for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over, uh, I'll briefly go over one pet strategy and then I'll go over the one I'm gonna do that's slightly harder, simply because I don't wanna use repeat pets. Here is what I would highly recommend using. Uh, three rare level 25 snails, all of them with ooze touch, acidic goo, and dive. Um, the reason I'm not going to do this this fight is because one of these snails is Rapina Welk, which is what I also use for Terran Zoo. And if this is a week where Terran Zoo happens to be out, I'm not going to tell you to use the same pet twice because it would just suck if this pet died on Terran Zoo and you came here and you're like, well, I can't use this strategy. It's shit. So I'm going to switch out uh, Rapina Welk here. But if you have the option, use three snails. So I switched out the snail with a uh, Nor Dressel Wisp with Light, Flash, Soul Ward. Uh, this his uh, rotation against Chi 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 works really well. And just to go over the other two, it's going to be Scooter the Snail with Ooze Touch, Acidic Goo, Dive, and Silk Bead Snail with Ooze Touch, Acidic Goo, Dive. So let's see how this goes. Immediately with the Wisp, we start out with Flash. Followed up with Light. And since there's nothing else you can do, and he's going to do Ethereal anyway, do your Soul Ward. And since there's nothing else you do, you just pass, and you literally just do all your abilities on cooldown. If you can't do any of them, you pass. And you keep on doing that till the Wisp is dead. And you'll notice the Soul Ward and his Ethereal always line up perfectly. And now we bring in the snail. The most important thing with the snail, always leave your acidic goo on him. I'm pretty sure he's going to do Ethereal next, so I'm going to do my dive. He does three attacks and then his Ethereal, so always look through your pet uh, battle uh, uh, log and see if he's done three attacks. And sometimes it's hard to read, and I frequently misread it and screw up, but uh, you can only do uh, the dive for every other Ethereal. So if you miss one, it's not a huge loss, but try to get it as often as possible. And we're going to do the normal attack, the ooze touch. We're going to do that every time, as long as uh, we can't dive his ethereal and uh, his acidic goo is up. I was still on cooldown, so there's nothing I could do there. But now we're on a countdown, so. Easiest ways to try to keep track in your mind. So that was one turn.
This is the second. This will be the third. So next turn he's going to do a theory, so I'll do that. How you defeat Chi Chi, hatching of Chi Pet Guy. If you go in there with three snails, which I highly recommend, you just use that snail strategy over and over again. And it will actually, I find it goes a lot smoother than using the Wisp. We are at Zifu Kabuzun. And uh, this battle is a major RNG nightmare for me. So hopefully I do this guide and it will reduce the nightmares for everybody. I'm going to start out with Alp Alpine Fox Link Kit with Bite. Howl, Dazzling Dance, Fox Kit with Flurry, Howl, and Dazzling Dance, and any foxes will work, I imagine. I imagine they all have about the same abilities. Then Dark Moon Zeppelin with Missile, Bombing Run, and Decoy. Most important thing to start out with will be Dazzling Dance. And then you throw a howl out. And then you attack. And since the howl's still up, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my flurry. Get Hal back up. Since Hal's still up, I'm going to go ahead and start throwing missiles at him. I'll throw the play up once it's uh, Hal's down. Almost dead, but my decoy should protect me nicely. And one more missile should do it. That's how you can defeat Zingu, Cub of Zoom, in the CS2 tournament. We are at Yula, Broadling of Yulan, in the CS2 tournament. Uh, this guy isn't usually too bad, but he sometimes can give me some troubles. I start out with Ghostly Skull, with Shadow Slash, Spectral Strike. An Unholy Ascension, which is vital. War or Lil Bad Wolf, which I named War Jim Freeman, with Counter Strike, Dodge, and Howl. And Pandaria Monk, with Takedown, Focus Chi, and Blackout Kick. For your second pet, it's important to have a humanoid who has a Dodge, who is faster than you law. Uh, this guy has a speed of 325, so that'll do it. And has strong abilities against Dragonkin. So let's see how this goes. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, See if it hits. It won't, naturally. Uh, keep on hitting him with Shadow Slash uh, while Spectral Strike is on. Uh, well, you're only going to use Spectral Strike twice. So keep on hitting Shadow Slash at this point until this pet is dead. Just think of it as like bonus. Now he's dead, but he is also an undead pet, which is glorious because now you get a turn where you're invincible and you can cast your unholy ascension on him. And now he gets 25% extra damage. 
damage, which is very helpful. I'm going to bring in Little Bad Wolf, Warden Freeman. Gonna go ahead and start out with my howl. Followed up my counter strike. Uh, now he just did his lift off, so now, I'm, now I have to do my dodge. Sadly, now I have to pass, but it will, it will work out in the end. I find this strategy works very well. Pretty much just using your abilities on cooldown, except for dodge. You wait from two lift off before you use dodge. Now I have to straight up pass, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Passing twice in a row, which is never good. Now time for my dodge. Get my howl out there. I usually wouldn't, but since my uh, Hal is still on him, I'm going to go ahead and t use my take down. I'm just going to use my takedown again and attempt to finish off this guy. And it worked. And that's how you can defeat uh, Eula, Broodling of Yulon, in the CSTL turn. Congratulations if you made it this far into the CSTL tournament, because this guy is the easiest fight here. We are going to go in with Sun Reaver Micro Sentry, with Fell Emulate, and Call Lightning. By the way, this is for uh, Zeo. Kathleen of Mizu. Uh, you can probably figure that out because it's the fourth one here and he's the last one left. We will have for our second pet Zang Zandalari Ankle Renderer with Hunting Party, Leap, Black Claw, Ignore Leap, you don't need it. Zandalari Knee Biter with Hunting Party and Black Claw. And I have never needed the third pet here. He's there for backup. Never need him. Let's see how this goes. This strategy, when I get to ankle renders, will look extremely familiar when you, uh, if you've seen the Lucky video I put out there. Start out with Call Lightning. And then just start throwing a fella I'm late on him. We're gonna leave this pet in there until he's dead. And the reason why is because it's, uh, because you like to charge up where he fills up on life. So I don't really want to get the uh, Zandalari Raptors out there. First thing you do is start out by applying Black Claw. We're starting, he's starting to do his charge up now, but uh, he's dead. I've never had it where he's not dead at this point. Once you apply your Hunting Party, do Black Claw, Hunting Party, he's dead. There he goes. That's how you can beat. Defeat uh, Zao, Halfling of Mizao, in the Celestial Tournament, and it's insanely Hurrah easy. Easiest champions. fight here. You Save it for last, and once you get to him, you know strength. you're done.
Uh, if this guy was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. If you have any strategies of your own that you use against these guys, please uh, add them to the comments below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos.